guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Uh, so, <clears throat> police are highly trained. This is something that I hear a lot from the civilian disarmament camp. Uh, is that, you know, the police can have these weapons or have this type of weapon or, or whatever because they're highly trained. So, they deserve the guns and they can have the guns. But you, as an untrained civilian, you know, you're not qualified. Right? It's basically the line of, the line of reasoning. Well, I think that's interesting because I read this uh, article today, which I'm going to link it below, and it's an article uh, that's on a, a police website, a, a pro-police website called Police One, and the interesting part is, is that it goes through this study that was recently published on how the, the hit rate for this department that they studied, which I think was the Dallas Police Department, and this is no slag on, on the Dallas Police Department. This is just, you know, what the study found. It was over a period of like 50 years. I mean, it was a very long study. And uh, what they found during during this, this study is that the hit rate, the average hit rate, was somewhere between 22% and 52%. 22 to 52% of the time that officers shot at somebody, they actually hit the person they were trying to shoot at. Which means that, give or take, at the at best, half the time you're missing. One out of two bullets is not hitting the bad guy. You pull out your gun, you shoot at a guy six times, three of those bullets goes God knows where, right? And the, the article goes on to talk about how this can be generalized to other police departments. And like I said, you can read it for yourself. But I just think this is super interesting. So you, you always hear this thing that police are highly trained. On average, a, a police officer gets about 16 hours of firearms training a year, okay? That's a two-day class. That's what that is. They get about one of those a year, on average. So when it comes to this line of police officers are highly well-trained, I just am not buying it. I haven't been buying it for a long time, and I'm certainly not buying it the more information that comes out, right? The police officers, God bless them, they have a tough job to do, and I wish them all the best. I'm not making fun of them or coming down on them at all, but I'm just saying the facts are they're hitting their target at best. 50% of the time. But these are the people that they call highly trained and that are allowed to carry the guns, and you're saying, I'm not. Now, if you're a citizen and you're watching this and you think that you can hit better than half the time when you're supposed to, now granted, maybe you can't because there's a lot of different factors at play here, okay? Someone might be trying to kill you uh, and <laughs> they might have a gun and it might be dark and etc., etc., etc. There's all kinds of circumstances and you will fall you will not rise to the occasion, right? You're going to fall to the lowest level of training that you have. Meaning, whatever the skill is that you've mastered, that's how you're going to perform that day. If you're like, yeah, I can, I can do my draw when I think about it, your draw is going to fall apart that day, right? If you're like, man, I can, I can really shoot at 50 yards under ideal conditions when I take all my time in the world, you're not going to be able to make that shot today, right? Like, you, you, you're not, you're going to be on adrenaline, which is basically like being on drugs. You're going to have a lot of issues, right? So your accuracy is going to come significantly down. But my point still remains the same, which is I believe that you, as a citizen, as a responsible, trained citizen, can do at least as well as a police officer can. There's, there's no difference between you and them. After all, you're both human beings. This whole line of police are well-trained, only they get guns, is complete, complete trash, and we should not pay that any mind, and we should be quick to just get rid of that hogwash, okay? You can brush that one aside. That's not a valid argument in light of facts and reality. The second thing is let's all be better. If you're watching this and you're a citizen, civilian, if you're a police officer, if you're in the military, let's hit the bad guys and no one else, right? Only hits count. If I pull up my gun and shoot 10 times and I miss the guy, he's still trying to kill me because I didn't hit him with any bullets. So let's all shoot better. Let's all train harder. Let's all train smarter. And let's get really good at this so that these things of 50% hit rates are a thing of the past and we're at a point where we care about where our bullets are going because we want them to go into the bad guy and not into the six-year-old that's on the playground that just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time five blocks down, right? That's not what we want to happen. Nobody wants that to happen. Do brave deeds and endure.